harmless. Okay. Keep it safe. Keep it safe. Keep it safe. Oh my okay. God. Oh, there's the barium. Look at that. Dan, what the floor is yours, Dan. Wow. The view from the Outer Banks, That's Barrier Islands in North shot. Carolina. Wow, oh, look, look at, at the shock waves. That, I'm, you know, I don't know exactly where that was, but my guess is that might have been the rocket passing the, the sound barrier. Dan's going to play, I think, it again or another angle. So this is the first video. I then played the second video, which shows it going past what appears to be the sound bit barrier. But here's here's where it first approaches. That is incredible. Oh, that's gorgeous. Dan, for anyone who wants to photograph astronomy or all things in the sky, how did you pull this off? So basically just uh, had a telephoto lens and had it set to about 200 millimeters. So a little bit zoomed in and um, uh, had a DSLR camera with the settings maxed out basically for, for as bright as I could get it. And, um, and uh, just shot real time video and followed the rocket as it went upwards. And you didn't buy your tripod at Walmart, I take it. It's a good steady shot. No, that is correct. Uh, my tripod, I have actually two different tripods set up here, but uh, um, yeah, if we're still on uh, camera here, it said it signed me out from one of the accounts, but we should still be live here. We're looking at your replay again here, Dan. I think I could watch this all night. Dan, were there any sounds that you were able to hear out there on the beach? Um, no, couldn't hear anything from the rocket. It was mostly just, uh, we could hear, uh, uh, the, the house that I'm at, some of the people here were, were ecstatic to see it, yeah. um, happening in the sky. So it was a very kind of, um, otherworldly experience to, um, say the least, uh, the dogs actually started barking, um, <laughs> when they saw it. So, uh, that's how big and noticeable it was. The dogs even saw it and got freaked out by it. Well, we heard the people especially when the vapor started showing up in the sky, which was our first indication to come back out to your shot. And uh, again, I, I, Tony said it, I think you are the man of the hour. Uh, lots of kudos coming in from our live viewers in chat. So incredible footage indeed. And uh, we're so glad you were able to get out there and capture those images uh, for Carolina Weather Group, for yourself and for everyone. And I, I do truly think we're going to flip these around to NASA. They were asking for social videos, and I'm, I haven't seen one yet, Tony, that looks anything like this show up on social media. I have the PALS um, email address, so... Ping me. I will share. We will. They will. They will love to have it. While you do that, so I think, you, Dan, what type of camera did you say you use for this? I'm using a uh, Canon 5D Mark IV for this with a 200-millimeter uh, uh, lens. Beautiful stuff. Uh, Dallas Middleton says it best. N for science. For everyone Dan shot that footage for, N for science is the <laughs> amazing punctuation. All right, Tony. Uh Dan Whitaker, you are the man of the hour. Any last words uh, as we wrap up this coverage from the Carolina Weather Group out there from OBX? I just want to say that uh, it was well worth the wait. This was an incredible experience, and uh, how exciting to be able to see like something like this from the Carolinas or from anywhere, really. But, um, you know, the uh, Outer Banks skies never let you down. Absolutely. Thank you to all of you who have joined us each and every night on the Carolina Weather Group YouTube channel. It finally happened, folks. And as Tony <laughs> mentioned, there are other great events that will be happening in the skies. We'll try to stream as many of them as we can, or you might have the best view right outside your window.